In this chapter, we'll learn about the directional indicator. A directional indicator is an arrow that lies around the cursor and is always pointing towards a hologram. In our case, it'll always be pointing to the Astroman. In the project panel, find the Hollow Toolkit folder, select the Gaze folder, and find the directional indicator script. In the hierarchy, expand the Astroman and select the directional indicator asset. Drag and drop the directional indicator script from the project panel into the inspector. In the hierarchy, find the cursor object. Drag and drop the cursor from the hierarchy over to the inspector panel and then onto the cursor parameter. In the project panel, select the holograms folder. There, you'll find a directional indicator asset. Drag and drop that from the project panel to the direction indicator parameter. Double click the directional indicator script to open it in Visual Studio. We have a few public parameters that are of interest to us. First is cursor. This is the cursor where the directional indicator arrow will lie around. Then we have the direction indicator object. This is the 3D arrow asset that will lie around the cursor. Then we have a direction indicator color. Right now it's set to blue, but you can set it to whatever color you want. The first thing we do is instantiate the directional indicator. So let's head down to the instantiate direction indicator function. We'll start by instantiating the prefab direction indicator. So we have an instance of our prefab. Then we'll grab the mesh renderer or add it if it's not already there. Then we'll start with the directional indicator disabled by setting the mesh renderer dot enabled to false. Then we'll remove any colliders and rigid bodies so physics and gravity do not interfere with our directional indicator. Then we'll set the color. And last, we'll set the indicator as a child of the targeted game object. For us, that means we'll be a child of the Astroman. In the update function, the first thing we'll do is grab the direction from the main camera which is your head, to the script's parent game object. And what that means is the direction from your head to the hologram that you want the directional indicator to point towards. Our directional indicator should only be visible if we can't see our hologram. So we'll check, are we looking at the hologram? And if we are, then we don't show the directional indicator. If the directional indicator should be visible, then we'll call this get direction indicator position and rotation function. And that will tell us where to place the directional indicator arrow around our cursor. So let's head down to that function. First, we have meters from cursor. And this is how far the arrow should lie outside the cursor. Then we'll project the camera to target direction onto the screen plane. If that direction is zero, it means the hologram is directly behind us. So, we'll just set the directional indicator arrow to point to the right. Last, we'll set the rotation of the arrow around the cursor so that it's pointing towards the hologram. And that's it, you can deploy. Watch how the directional indicator arrow always points towards our Astroman, no matter where you're looking. Also notice how you can't see the arrow when you're looking directly at the Astroman. You just learned about the directional indicator and how to help users find holograms hidden in their worlds. In our next chapter, we'll learn about billboarding. And with billboarding, we'll have our holograms always face towards us.